Uh, it's October 2022. Clean out the garage and go do a update here. Let's see where we're at. One T49. I tell you what, I love the stance. I, I think I got that nailed. Uh, not air, uh, but uh, man, I love the uh, I love the uh, what we got going on with the suspension there. So I got to get the running boards on and they got to be stretched a little bit. Uh, previous guy narrowed, net tried narrowing the bed. We did narrow the bed and uh, narrowed those. And then of course I stretched the chassis. And uh, so now the uh, running boards have, need to be matched to stretch as well. 31 inch tall tire in there. And it fills up that wheel well nicely. half ass started to put wheel tub in there gonna have a lot of room it's actually like another two inches into the inside of the frame rail so the tire can be easily three inches wider if not four inches wider and it's a it's a 31 by 10 and a half right now so 31 by 12 is to fit in there no problem obviously yeah woods just pine crap just for templates and i'm not happy with what we got here. I mean, I tried to make a access for the uh, battery and I'm not a carpenter, so I didn't get that right. And I thought those hinges were the way to go, but not exactly. So. How hokey is that shit? How hokey is that? Uh, <clears throat> oh, well, what are you gonna do? Uh, sheet metal's pretty good though, right? I mean, it's old. Gaps are bad. I mean, but that's going to be tightened up. I mean, it just, I didn't put any of the felt in there. It's just uh, loose bolts. Didn't even tighten them all the way up. Didn't get the hood lined up with the shit. Can't get the uh, doors right. I've shimmed and shimmed and shimmed trying to get these doors. And they're not original doors to the cab. Obviously, they're uh, 51 doors. And this is a 49 cab, or 52, 50, 52 doors. Let me get it up, uh, let me get this guy up on uh, jack stands. We'll look underneath it. Oh, the Altman latches, money. One finger. Oh, you don't even have to slam. It can just be easy. Shut. Uh, doesn't have the uh, new gasket. We got the gaskets. Once we put the gaskets in, that'll shut and seal a lot nicer. Does seem to slam on that one on that side. Watch this. Easy peasy. And I like using the original old style uh, uh, refrigerator door handle style there. It works great. Yeah, I love it. Compared to how they were originally, or how they were, how it was when I got it, it's a lot better. And, and again, gaps. Uh, haven't really been able to solve that. And I mean, these hinges. I think I still. You can see I got washers in there trying to work on these hinges. I, I can't remember if there's any washers left in that one. Trying to move hinges in and out, and you could play in there as well. I, I haven't got it right, so I don't know what the heck's going on. All new glass except for I think that side the the fly window is acceptable and pretty good shape. Yeah, that one's that one's not so bad. Looks pretty good. I protected the glass there. Probably get new glass, but everything else is new. I actually got two windows for the back. Um, one's a slider, which may not look period correct, but kind of like to have the slider. And then uh haven't put the other seat together yet. Still new in the box. And this one I've protected just so it's uh nice. Cut the plastic on it and got a cover so we don't jack it up. Beige to go with the almond interior. And then I've got all that stainless and new as well for the, the covers, the pull out, 
glove box door and all that good stuff. Got it up on jack stands. There's some light underneath it. See up underneath here. Everything new for rear suspension, obviously. Quick performance. Fabricated nine inch with uh, discs. Uh, you can see the clearance you have for more tire there. A little bit better there, right there. Two and a half inch exhaust is just a starter exhaust. Just a, it's a simple exhaust setup coming off the header collector there. Um, I actually want to go to three or three and a half. Yeah, my hokey welding that isn't the best um, for sure. Lots of heat, made sure for penetration. I know it looks like there's some bubble gum on there. And there is. But get it on a lift. That's one of the things I'd like to do is get on a lift and scrutinize everything and gusset anything that needs gusseted. Oh! Clean up any anything that needs uh, welding attention. Turbo 400, little leaky leak. Um, the oil there isn't necessarily from the leaking motor it's uh when i did the cam swap i made a mess get that hughes 2000 rpm converter in there it's nice well i think it's nice i haven't run it yet and then uh lowering springs i think those are bell tech three inch drop a little aggressive so maybe they're two and then bell tech uh shocks lowering shocks on there New ball joints and all that. Uh, coilovers would be the way to go. Honestly, it's adjustable height coilovers. Kind of where I want to go next. Oh. Cleaned up the interior a little bit. Took some of the junk out of it. Still got more deadener, sound deadener. Stick down here. And there's some holes and there's some patching that needs to occur, you know, uh, that's in it. So there's one or two or three holes, I can't remember. And I, again, I haven't put the other seat together yet. Um, window trim, door panel stuff. That nice, pretty little car shifter, I left the cover on it. I got a new horn button for it somewhere too. That's cheap plastic. I just put it in there for right now. It's a really nice dark wood steering wheel too. I forget who makes it. It's not Lacara, but somebody like that. Gotta hook the gas pedal up. I haven't done that yet. The wiring is the mess here. I gotta I gotta figure out. I mean I did it for function to make sure it all works, and it does. So everything works like wiring as it should be uh turn signals and ignition and all that but now i gotta go through cleaning it up and prettying it Standard style, old school. Got a little lever up underneath there. That stock operates a release right there. This is a reproduction piece. Big champion radiator, biggest one I could get. Sometimes you'll see me write part numbers on stuff. Good old RPM air gap for a big block Chevy. And I still got to get the cam broke in, so I don't haven't bolted down the uh, valve covers yet. Because I got to go back and check the lash on those. The only thing that isn't trick, uh, uh, you know, obviously those heads are super badass. The AFR 
oval ports. Um, those are super awesome. Crane, you know, roller rockers there. Uh, Holly 750. The uh, ignition isn't the, the top of the line. I think it's a Summit house brand big distributor back there. And I, I can't remember. Mallory or no name, somebody coil. So that's nothing super trick or anything like that. MSD plugs and MSD wires. Um, but I haven't gone super trick on that because I want to upgrade eventually to EFI. And I think that's a Wilson carb spacer. I could be wrong. Uh, you know what I did? I taped over it. See, it just looks silver. But it's a super awesome carb. Biggest one I could stick there. And But I had still have plenty of clearance. So actually probably even go higher than that of course will would and then uh that's your adjustment for your brake bias uh going to the rear and then uh this is a line lock uh going to the front so so it uh has a line lock and then the ability to kill the ignition and bump the starter from uh working on it under here you just gotta turn the key should have power yep there we go it's that power now i haven't i haven't got it ready to go yet because i need i need to uh break the cam in but you can bump it here i want to fire it up front here love that flaming river uh steering box too it's a manual steering box super pain in the ass to install i think i spent a week dicking with the steering on this thing super pain in the dick but uh i mean obviously it's a little tough to steer if it's sitting static it's just sitting here but as soon as it's moving it steers real 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 smooth and easy Again, Booger welds some of this stuff. I used uh, as much heat as I could put in it. Not the best. Um, you know, I thought about like on the on these guys going back with a piece of angle and stick it in there, clean this all this up, angle, and then seam around the angle to make sure that's good. It's in the back. It's where I put all the heat in it. Going around, those were just to locate them. Um, I'm just probably holding some structural integrity there, but and then these uprights right here again were kind of more or less just a, they're not really supporting a heck of a lot. The majority of the bed weight is supported on these, and then across the uh, middle cross member underneath the bed, and then in the back. Oh! Uh, there's a a big cross support there it's impossible to see with the uh with the uh fuel tank fuel cell in there and get more wiring you know wiring has to be cleaned up and put away and neatened up and probably uh you know shortened here and there make it, make, make it look nicer And then there's fender support stuff. Needs to be fabricated still. Simple flat uh, round stock bar. You uh, drill a hole in, bolt to the frame in there, and then it comes out and like locates out here because this will bounce around. So that's simple, simple fabrication stuff. This will actually tighten up those holes right there, line up with the, uh, the back of the uh, running board. And that tightens that up as well. But Simple round stock bar supports come out here as well. I think the factory even did that stuff so it doesn't flop around too much. See, you got a lot of space up here. Way more than I thought would have these giant ass tires. 31, 31 by uh, whatever they are. Yeah, 31 by 10 and a half. Well, drag lights.
All right, I think that's a pretty good update.